Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a simple canvas that will allow you to draw complex shapes using our JS object. Before we get started, I'd like to note that in order to use the JS object, you will need EasyBuilder Pro version 6.05.01.379 or greater, as well as a CMTX series HMI. To begin, I have EasyBuilder Pro open, and I'll be using a CMT 3152x during this demonstration. To create a new JS object, let's select the Object tab, and on the right side, I'll select the JS related drop down list and click JS Object. Now, during this demonstration, we won't need to define any additional objects or values within the Config tab. However, it may be useful to review the various functions available as you may use them in future projects. At the top, we can define how many states this object has, which will affect the number of available image and label states within the shape and font tab. At the bottom, we can define new objects, arrays, or values. And by using the template button, we can convert the current configuration of our table to JSON format where if you're familiar with JSON, you can then edit this configuration much faster and then convert it back to the standard format of our JS object. We also have controls that are quite similar to those found within our recipe database and SQL query object that will allow you to delete, copy, paste, or reconfigure the settings of an existing object or value, as well as the ability to move objects within this table via the arrows on the right side. With our overview complete, let's select the source code tab so that we can create our canvas. The first step that I would like to advise is to select the JS object SDK hyperlink on the bottom right. This will open the JS object documentation, which contains several examples that we'll reference when writing our code. To create our canvas, we'll need to define a new instance of our canvas widget. We can do this by writing var canvas equals new canvas in closed parentheses with a semicolon meaning that I've defined canvas with a lowercase c as the name of our new instance of canvas. This of course is shown in the second example of our JS object documentation for our canvas widget. And within this example, you'll notice that the next line is this dot widget dot add and in parentheses canvas followed by a semicolon where this refers to the JS object and widget is essentially a property that will allow us to use the add method to add our canvas widget. Now our canvas widget cannot determine the position of our mouse or finger. So we'll need to define a mouse area widget and add this within the source code of our JS object. This can be accomplished by typing var mouse area equals new mouse area. And then on a separate line, we'll write this dot widget dot add and in parentheses mouse area followed by a semicolon. With that finished, we're going to create two mouse events that will monitor when we press down and move the mouse on our mouse area widget. To do this, I'll select the link to the mouse area widget within the JS object documentation. And near the bottom of this page, we'll find some examples of a mouse event. First, I'm going to copy the example of a mouse down event and paste this within our source code. And just below our mouse down event, I'll repaste this example and change the event style to mouse move by replacing the keyword mouse down with mouse move. Next, we'll need to define a method by which we can draw on our canvas when these events take place. So, once again, let's reference some of the examples pertaining to our canvas widget within the JS object documentation. 
There are three specific methods of our canvas widget that we'll need in order to draw on our canvas. First, we'll use the Move To method. When we click down on our mouse in order to move the starting point of our path to the specific coordinate that our mouse is located. To reference the current position of our mouse, we'll define the X and Y properties of our mouse event within the parameters of our Move To method. Next, let's use the Line To method shown in our JS object documentation to create a line between points. We'll need this to occur when we move the mouse on our mouse area and the parameters for this method will also need the current coordinate defined by the X and Y property of our mouse event. And after the line to method has created a line, we'll need to use the stroke method to actually draw this line on our canvas. Now that we have defined the code necessary to perform this demonstration, let's click OK, place this object, and maybe I'll expand it so that it covers a larger portion of my work area, and then select the project tab and run an offline simulation. With our simulation running, let's test our canvas. And this concludes the latest demonstration as to how you can create a simple canvas using our JS object. Check out the description for a link to a separate tutorial in which we use the JS object to control the movement of a robotic arm. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our channel to check out the latest technical tutorials. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.